Personnel of the Gambia Armed Forces commands an introductory training on Turkish language ahead of their eventual airlifting to Turkey for an advanced military-specific training. The target troops involve 250 soldiers in the Quick Reaction Force, being prepared for a possible UN mission deployment in future. The language course seeks to prepare and equip the participants with better understanding of the Turkish language as well as expose them to the culture, tradition and values of Turkey. The course which will take place at the Gambia Armed Forces Training School in Fajara was attended by a host of dignitaries including the Chief of Defense Staff, Turkish Ambassador to the Gambia, among others. Addressing the participants, Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Jakob Drame advised the participants to give their best in terms of participation during the training. Each and every one of you, the students, present today, you have a critical assignment. How you perform, how you assimilate the instructions, and of course, how you apply yourself will determine the subsequent course of action. Let me recognize the presence of the contingent commander, Gamkoi, QRF Gamkoi II, and you define men and women of Gamkoi II, possible QRF. If I may go back to what I said earlier on, this determines the subsequent cause of actions. In other words, it behoves each and every one of you to give your best in terms of participation, in terms of strict adherence to set rules and regulations. And the most important culmination point, you should be able to transcend what you've been told to the next level. And that is what determines whether or not you could be part of GAM quite too. The Turkish ambassador to the Gambia, Tolga Bamek, said the program is beyond a military training as it will foster the relationship between the armed forces, both the Gambia and Turkey. Thousands of Gambian soldiers have been trained either in Turkey or in the Gambia. While improving their professional capacity with these programs, many of the army officers have had the chance to learn Turkish. And from time to time, I uh, come across with uh, some people in the street uh, speaking Turkish, and when, when I introduce myself uh, them, to them, uh, they start to speak Turkish and tell me about their wonderful memories in Turkey. This is really nice, and uh, in this regard, uh, this program should not be regarded as just a military uh, training program. Uh, in my opinion, it's beyond that. And it's a good instrument for uh, developing people-to-people uh, -people, uh, contacts, uh, which is essential for the future of our relations. And Major Ablai Job, commander at the training school, or the participants to take the training seriously. This contingent will administratively belong to the Armed Forces Training School for the period of this course. And um, I want to urge you all to take this training very seriously and apply yourselves to the rigors and expectations of the high command. We expect nothing but for you to carry yourself in conformity with our standing operating procedures as an institution, or as the only institution taxed with the responsibility of carrying out training for members of the armed forces. We are just playing host to this course potentially and we will do our best to look after you during the period of your stay in the school. 250 men and women in the army will participate in this language training. The language course will prepare and equip them with better understanding of the Turkish language and also expose them to the culture, tradition and values of Turkey. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Buba Gajigo.